Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac, and today I'm going to be talking about three lies that guys believe. But first, I want to let you know that this video is done as a collab with Hannah Williamson. Uh, she is a Christian YouTuber, and she creates all sorts of awesome content uh, centered around the Christian worldview, digging into different important topics. And uh, yeah, she's a really awesome person, so I encourage you to check out her channel and check out the video that she's done, uh, Three Lies That Girls Believe. I've added that video to the link in my description, so check out that video, watch it, comment on it, and subscribe to her channel. I appreciate you guys, and we'll get into the video now. Okay, so the first lie that guys believe is to be emotional is to be weak. So I think this is a big lie that guys believe. God created us to feel. God created us with emotion. And when we just take that and say, well, that's kind of, that's weakness. We're showing people that we're not stable. We're showing people that we're, that we feel that we can be effective, that we can be impacted. And that leaves us too open to vulnerability. And we've talked about vulnerability on this channel, but to be emotional is to be vulnerable. To feel our feelings is to be vulnerable in some respect. And a lot of guys, they're like, I don't want to do that I don't want to go down that path but I think we got to understand look God has created us to feel he's created us with emotions and yes they can get out of control when we start trusting our feelings over anything and we start listening to our emotions over anything and disregard truth and all that yeah that can happen right but that doesn't mean we should throw the baby out with the bathwater. God created us with emotions. He created us to feel and he created us to kind of learn and explore our emotions and learn and be able to handle them. Because if we're just bottling this up, if we're just bottling everything that we're going through, all the interactions that we're having, all the places where we feel hurt, if we're bottling that up and we're never talking about it or we're never working through it or we're never finding healing from it, Look, we're going to have some baggage down the road, and I don't want that for you. And, and for me, this has been a real struggle too. I think it's important that we understand, look, this is a lie. It's important to feel. It's important to understand our emotions. God created us that way. Number two is that we don't need help. This idea of hyper-individualism. Um, it, for me, I, I know it's been one of those things where, <laughs> even with this channel really, uh, I'm like, okay, I can do this all by myself. I just got to do this. I'm going to keep going. Yeah, I could use some help, but you know what? I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. And even in terms of, you know, going back to our emotions, we, we say, oh, we don't need help. We don't need to talk to anybody. We don't need to any of that kind of stuff because we're just very individualistic. Most guys are. And I think it's important and I think it's a biblical mandate that we learn to live in community, learn to get into community, learn to open up, learn to ask for help. Because that's how God is going to use other people to minister to us. If we're just, you know, pushing off people's help and pushing off people's support in our lives, we're just going to end up alone and sad, but we're also going to be neglecting God's mandate to bear one another's burdens and other people want to help bear your burdens and that's why we got to ask for help we got to open up it's very difficult to do I'm, I'm saying these things like it's easy but it's not but we should be asking for help because we do need help and when we when we say we don't need help we're, we're just being prideful because God has put, put people around us in our lives to help us to minister to us to talk to us to, to share our burdens I want to just encourage you ask for help it's okay and it's important. The third lie is that our work defines our worth. And I think this has become a real issue, a crisis of identity really, is that we put our identity in our work. We say, oh, this is who I am. I'm this, I'm this job or I'm this, you know, career path. That's who I am. And we attribute that to our worth. And we say, well, if I'm successful at that, then I'm worth something. But until I'm successful at that, I'm not really worth anything. And for me, that's been a real struggle. I think of, you know, even doing this and say, well, if I'm successful at this, if I have a big following or if I'm impacting lots of people, then that means I'm worth something. That means that I have value. But actually, no, God says, look, you have intrinsic value because you are my child. And we're like, well, yeah, but it's just like our parents saying, look, I love you. And our, we're like, yeah, but you're our parents. You're supposed to love us. We want other people. So we're going to other people to try to get that validation. 
But what we actually need to understand is that the only true validation that matters, the only worth that is attributed on to us that matters is God is the worth that God attributes onto us. Because other people say, oh yeah, I mean, you're not really that successful. You're not really doing that great. So they don't see that much worth in you. But God does. God says, you are valuable. You are my child. And it's not based on the things you do. It's not based on how successful you are in your career or how hard you work. Because we can get in this space like, oh man, I just need to work harder. I just need to work better. I, I just need to do more. I just need to try harder because I want to be successful because I want to be worth something. And our self-worth can get tied up into our work in that way. But God said, no, rest, be free from that. Yes, work is important, but that's not who you are. That's a joyful expression of God's love for you. God has loved you. He accepts you. And now you can be free to go ahead and work, but that doesn't mean that's who you are. Whether you're successful, whether how many followers you have, whether you got that promotion, whether you got the job that you wanted to, whether you got that grade that you were hoping you would get, that's not what you're defined by. Well guys, that was three lies that guys believe. I want to encourage you again to go to the link in my description to visit Hannah's channel and check out her video about the lies that girls believe. I think it'd be awesome to get that different perspective. Um, thanks so much for watching guys and I really appreciate all the patrons on Patreon. You guys are making it so I can actually do this and if you want to help support me on patreon it would be a humongous blessing the the link is in my description and you can support me monthly and it just helps me create these videos and blog posts and other content online and in person um it's a, it would be a huge blessing to me if you were to help support um so you can check out that link in my description as well thanks so much for watching guys and if you come from hannah's channel i just want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel we're putting out new videos all the time mondays and thursdays Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. See ya!